Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Yellow Chair, where today we're going to talk about finding contentment in this life. When's the last time you had a really bad day where nothing went right for you? I remember when I was 20 years old, I was working for a furniture store, and I was delivering a sofa and it was pouring down rain, and I was looking in my driver's side mirror as I backed down the driveway, and it was fogged up on the other side. Rather than stopping and getting out and unfogging the mirror, I was tilted in an angle enough where I ended up denting the garage door of the house I was delivering uh, this sofa to, only then to get out of the truck to find the lady on the porch cussing at me. So here I was soaking wet uh, with a bad bruised to my ego and finding out that what seemed like a minor dent in the garage door actually set off a series of events where there was a loose latch for this insulation to fall in the car and now my boss was going to hear all about it. Well when I got back to the store I kind of sheepishly went to my boss and I began to confess thinking man I'm going to get fired. So maybe my last day on the job and to my surprise my boss gave me favor and he seemed happy to do so. And he was like, listen, everybody has a bad day. I'm sorry this happened to you. We'll take care of it. And he went above and beyond for me. You know, in the Bible, the term grace in the Greek is charis. And it has this idea of God graciously giving us something we don't deserve. Something that he's happy and delighted to give us. The most powerful being on the planet is also the kindest person in Jesus you could ever meet. The Bible describes him this way in Exodus chapter 34, 6. He's compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, overflowing with loyal love and faithfulness. When the most powerful person is also the kindest person who delights to give you favor, even on your worst day when you screwed it up, that is when you can find great joy and contentment regardless of your circumstances because of who stands with you and who is for you. If this God is always there for you, no matter what comes your way, you can find contentment even when life has its challenges. He's delighted to do so, but he's also delighted to make us children of God that are going to live forever in his kingdom, his kingdom that will never end. So, even when life is hard here and now, we find that we have this promise of eternity with God where there's going to be no more sorrow, no more pain, no more suffering. He's going to wipe every tear from our eyes. And so we can find contentment that even if this life is terrible in terms of what people are doing to us and our circumstances that come upon us, we can have assurance and contentment in knowing who God is, that he is a God of, of redemption. He delights to show favor to us and to give us his kingdom that cannot be taken from us. It's going to last forever. That is Jesus, who is called the helper, one who comes beside us, alongside of us, to help. And so we find contentment in the person of Jesus, no matter what. And so today, if you're struggling to find contentment, ask yourself, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on the four to 10,000 ads that come your way that are trying to create envy and coveting? Yeah, you don't, you don't have enough and uh, you're not fulfilled because you don't have the right car, you don't have the right look, you don't have the right house. Where is your focus? Turn your focus back to God. When we focus on him who is all-powerful, but is also delighting and showing us favor, we find contentment there. I hope this helps you today. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Yellow Chair. If this information was helpful to you, would you do us a favor and click the like button on our YouTube videos to help us in the algorithm and get this information out to others? Also, if you have a friend or an acquaintance that you think this could be helpful to, make sure you share it with them and hit the subscribe button as well and we'll drop a new video for you each week that will hopefully help you in all things pertaining to life and godliness because we want fullness of joy for you. Have a great day.